Evening beer drinkers, welcome back once again to the Man Cave. Today's beer is McGrath's Craft Irish Amber, coming in at a decent 5.2% alcohol by volume. There are no IBUs in the bottle, so I can't tell you how bitter this one's going to be. Uh, this one comes from Ireland, uh, at the, I hope I pronounced this right, the Clan Connell Brewing Company, Craigavon, Northern Ireland. I hope I've got that right. Um, I've got a week off work and I've fitted a cast arrow for my eldest daughter yesterday. Um, when she got in from work today, she bought me three or four, sorry, four or five beers and some chocolate. What a lovely girl. And this is one of them, not one I've heard of before. Um, nice little craft ale bottle. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a, a spot UV label, which I quite like. And also, a nice touch is, let's get out of my chair so I don't think you can see that or not, if it's lit up well enough, a nice uh, brewery bottle top. I do like it when the breweries uh, spend a bit of time, give you a decent label and a decent bottle top. I do hate these plain bottle tops. So it's a nice touch that. Anyway, I've no idea what to expect. Um, it looks fairly light. It's an amber. So anyway, without further ado, let's crack it open. So like I said, got a week off work, uh, and while I'm off, I'm doing some work on, I don't know if you've seen my earlier videos, I'm doing some work on the ladies' lounge, which sits behind where you're kind of viewing from, if you like. Um, oh, look at that. Whoa, it's gone mental. Oh, that smells lovely. Cool. Yeah, I'm doing some work on the ladies' lounge, uh, putting the roof on tomorrow, hopefully. So I'll pop down to the uh, local builder's yard, picked up some timber. Yeah, let's chuck it in, look at that, perfect. Um, so I'll be doing some work on that during the week. Hopefully, once it's done, I'll be doing a few reviews from in there as well. Uh, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, get the wife involved, because um, she is gluten intolerant, she's uh, celiac. So she can't have uh, standard beers, unfortunately. But luckily, there are quite a few um, beers brewed now without gluten, um, which is quite good. Quite the main, a few of the mainstream breweries, um, uh, St Peter's do one, uh, Old Speckled Hen is one for the Moreland Brewery. Um, who else does one? Um, Green King, I think, do one. Um, so I might get the lovely wife involved um, and do a kind of a his and hers beer review at some point. Anyway, back to this one, back to the McGrath Craft Irish Amber. Apparently McGrath was, um, it says he named in honour of the mighty Master McGrath, the greatest greyhound to have ever raced. I don't know a lot about greyhound racing so I can't comment but there you go. Anyway, lovely amber beer. Yeah, I've got to get this um, lighting sorted out so you guys can see what I can see. It's not bad. I wonder if I hold it up under there. Yeah, it's not bad. Anyway, lovely amber beer. A little bit cloudy, actually, I have to say. A little bit cloudy. Good levels of carbonation. Uh, and two and a half, three finger heads, slightly off white. Let's get our nose in it. See, I think the head is disguising the nose. Because I'm not getting a lot from that, I've got to be honest. When I, when I poured it and started to overspill, got a bit of a, a bit of fragrance from it, but now in the glass, not a great deal. Let's see if we can uh, agitate it somewhat, see what we get. Only a little bit, a little bit. Slightly hoppy, but not not much else. Gotta be honest, not a lot, not a lot in that. Right, let's stop messing around. Let's get our face in it. Cheers. And again, not, not a huge amount to that. It, it's nice. Um, doesn't taste 5.2. Very, very subtle. Um, oh, I'm getting, it's malty, a little bit hoppy. Maybe the vaguest hint of caramel, possibly. 
But I don't know, it's not a lot, not a lot to that, I've got to be honest. Yeah, a little bit bitter on the back, but not, not overly so. That's um it's a good beer, that's um it's a lovely drop. I think maybe because it's so well balanced, hoppy malty, you know. Uh, maybe that's the reason why it's not I'm not saying there's no flavour I'm getting a little bit now actually on the back a little bit on the back let's have a look I've left my glasses in the car and this is these this is really small so I might struggle with see what see what the taste of those are full flavoured amber ale rich multi body embraced by smooth uh, caramel undertones there you go embellished with citrus and spice hop aroma abuse excuse me abuse <coughs> boldness with floral spice complemented by a slight sweetness on the finish. I don't don't disbelieve you, however, not getting much spice at all, I've got to be honest. Maybe the faintest hint of citrus, maybe. Then again, the faintest hint of caramel. Let's give that a good old. Get a bit more from it now. A little bit of spice there, a little bit of spice, but not a lot. Yeah, um, I don't want to do the brewery a disservice by saying it's not a good beer because it is a good beer. It's very nice, um, but just you know yourself, beer drinkers. Some some bottles you crack open. The second you crack it, you you can you can smell the aroma immediately. But this very very subtle. I've, I've definitely got a hoppy floral aftertaste on the back there and on the burp as well um, yeah not a lot to that not a bad beer don't get me wrong it's um very drinkable and i wouldn't i wouldn't not drink it again um, but like i pointed out to stevie in the last video but one about broadside would i actively go and look for this beer again i wouldn't avoid it but i wouldn't put that on my checkers drink again you know don't get me wrong if somebody bought me some wouldn't turn it down because it's a very nice beer but nothing special once again apologies to McGrath's brewery or the, whatever the brewery is called I do apologize the uh the clan Connor brewery apologies to them if i've done them a disservice it's a lovely beer but just nothing out i think maybe that's a problem these days maybe, maybe that's a, a good time to make that point um there's nothing wrong with just a decent beer and that is a decent beer in, in, in the times we live in with craft ales and lots and lots of breweries, I'm, I'm sure I read when I first started this channel then, 1800 breweries I think in the UK, that was then, a year and a half ago maybe, um, that must have gone up by now, um, and they're all trying to be special, they're all trying to do new things, all trying to be, so, so sometimes they over flavour their beers with all different hop varieties and to try and give them that something special, that X factor, if you like. <coughs> Excuse me. Which isn't a bad thing, because some of them turn out lovely, some of them don't. And maybe that's a problem. Maybe there's something to be said for just a real decent beer, like like the um, the Boxdean Brewery beers. Now, none of those beers would I say, wow, that's fantastic. But they're all really good beers, really good drinkable beers that I would buy again, definitely. In fact, I bought some, my brother was up for the weekend, um, I bought some, a couple of tunnel visions, because I know they're good, and a few other bits and barbs um, from Audi, but we ended up going to the beer festival for the previous video. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's a very good beer. Would I go and look for it again? Probably not. Would I avoid it? No, I wouldn't. I would. I would drink it again if it was if it was available. Um, I think Untapped have this. At, have this. Have this. Have this at three and a half. Yeah, I'd, I'd say around three, three and a half. I'd give that. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, not a bad beer. Not a bad beer. Um, yeah, I keep forgetting to mention. I always put it in my description. Please uh, like and subscribe. If you have any comments, any questions, any beers you'd like me to review, feel free to put them down. 
um, and I'll see what I can do. Um, I'm on, on Twitter now, at mancave underscore beer underscore, and I'm on Facebook, uh, mancave beer reviews. Um, check me out, give me a like, friend requests, etc., etc. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, I'm off work for a week, so I'll hopefully get one or two of these done over the course of the week and get more posted. So uh, um, if you have been, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah, not bad.